Hello and welcome back to another Yellow Case tutorial. My name is Matias and I want to show you how to edit the search results in Spotlight on your iPhone. Spotlight is a search feature that's available on your iPad, your iPhone, so uh, all iOS devices including your Mac on OS X. Now you'll notice that on the bottom of your screen in the iPhone and the iPad you have this little magnifying glass. You also may or may not have more than one dot at the bottom of your screen here. If I scroll my screen from left to right or right to left, it scrolls through my different screens on the iPhone. And a little dot shows up representing what number screen I'm on. To the very left of that, there's a little magnifying glass that represents my spotlight feature. So if I scroll one more time from left to right, I get my search feature. So if I type in a word or name or term such as Larry, I get all the results on my iPhone that have to do with the word Larry. For example, all my address book entries with the word Larry show up. If I scroll up, all the songs that have the word Larry associated with it. And it does search song, artist, album, so forth and so on. So you may not notice the word Larry show up here in the song name, but it is somewhere in the metadata or the information of that file. And below that, you have two other options. You can search the web, and you can search, uh, you can search Wikipedia using the term you've entered here. So I'm going to click on this little X to clear that box, the search box. And I'm going to look for the application settings. I'm going to click on that and scroll down. And I click on General. And if I scroll down, you'll notice there's an option for Spotlight Search. If I click on that, here's where I can edit which uh, areas, what content it will search when I use my Spotlight Search feature. I can also arrange how it returns those results. For example, as you, you may recall that Larry, um, the first thing that it brought back as results were contacts, and that's because contacts is first here in the list, and then music, and then applications. Now, of course, these won't appear if a result for that uh, type doesn't exist. So if there's not an application called Larry, then applications just won't appear at all. Now what if I want to uh, rearrange these? Let's say that I want mail to show up first. All I need to do is tap on these three lines here next to mail. You'll notice it'll highlight and raise above the others and you can drag it to the top. So since mail is probably one of the most common ones to search as is contacts, I'll leave those two at the top. But what if I don't want to search notes, for example. All I need to do is tap once on the item that I don't want to search, in this case events and notes, and I'm done. I do want to search those, so I'm going to tap them one more time and leave them checked. So there you go. That is how to arrange the spotlight search um, uh, order and uh, how to remove and add items to be searched. Hope this helps.